Zero Project Conference 2023. Artificial Intelligence and People with Disabilities. Opportunity or Threat. Is artificial intelligence for people with disability a benefit or a threat? And in the last year, so much has changed. Artificial intelligence has come out of its shell. It's no longer just hidden and embedded in the technologies we use every day. Our phones, our televisions, Netflix, Amazon. Instead, it's out in the open and it's having conversations with us. It's creating artworks with us. It's doing new things every day. And that offers huge interest in terms of both the benefits and the risks for people with disabilities. Alana AI, presented by Nehat Krasniki, CEO and co-founder. Alana AI is a spin-out company from Harriet Watt University, UK, founded to create safe and controllable natural language AI. Alana AI redefines conversational AI by extending the question-answer dynamic of existing task-oriented AI assistants into a multi-dimensional AI conversation. Alana AI achieves this by learning from real conversations and by integrating typical features and functions of a real human conversation. Alana is a software company, meaning that our systems are built uh, to be deployed across um, multiple applications, as in hardware applications. This means that Alana can sit in a robot, can sit on a mobile phone device. With recent advancements in artificial intelligence, users have really come to experience the way that AI can be presented really well, but as well as some of the failures that can happen with regards to factuality, faithfulness, and Alana challenges that, providing grounded and factual information to users as a priority. Capito, presented by Paul Anton Meyer, Chief Digital Officer. Capito translates complex German language information into simple language and offers three levels of simplification. A new service are add-on programs that use artificial intelligence to help users write texts in simpler language. The simplification level can be selected. In the future, Capito wants to expand this service and also offer it in other languages. Our text simplification service from Capito is already available. You can use it via a REST API or you can deploy it full on-premises. You have browser add-ins and Microsoft Word add-ins. And we serve two different use cases. You can have assistance while you're actually writing and you can fully automatically simplify text. Our text simplification service from Capito will be available in English, French, Spanish and Italian soon. UserWay, presented by Lionel Wolberger, Chief Operating Officer. UserWay is a digital accessibility company based in the U.S. and listed in Israel. The company uses AI and automation in response to legal pressure on companies to make their websites accessible. UserWay's accessibility widget is available for all major CMS platforms, as well as plain HTML, CSS, JS sites. UserWay's technology meets compliance laws based on WCA G2.1 AA standards and as required by the ADA. The UserWay Accessibility Widget has many users. We're trusted on over a million websites. We are integrated with the leading CMS platforms such as Wix, Shopify, and WordPress. We see strong growth in it as people want automated solutions and visibility across their entire digital footprint. The advantages of the UserWay widget over other solutions is summarized by the six C's. It sounds like sexy, but it's six C's. The cost, it's a very reasonable way to start. You can purchase it monthly. Coverage, it covers all your digital assets. Communication, it accelerates communication within your organization as to your status. Continuity, it always operates every month, every year. Your compliance, according to WCAG 2.1 AA, is assured and consulting is available as well. Session summary by David Baines, Access and Inclusion Services. Our four human panelists at the conference described the many benefits and advances that we've seen uh, in AI over the last year. And they discussed the risks uh, and the opportunities that AI is offering to people with disabilities. Security and privacy were risks, whilst opportunities included anticipation, prediction and automation. But we had a fifth panellist. We asked ChatGPT for its opinions and it told us, yes, there are risks and benefits. The benefits are very great, 
But the risks are really down to you as humans and what you choose to do with the artificial intelligence. And with that thought in mind, I went and started to use AI to generate images of people with disabilities. And it really poses the question as you look at them, what does it tell me about disability? How do I feel about that? Do I engage? Do I hate them? Do I think they're offensive? And it's that discussion and that debate that will shape how we use AI in the future.